We got about a 1928 or 27 Model A doodle bug. Back in the day, people couldn't really afford a tractor or get one during World War II and stuff. So they made one of these little guys. We're gonna get her up and running. She's been setting for about 72 years. She's been setting long enough for the nylon tires to disintegrate on this side. And most of the rim to just rust away on this side. These rims are about a uh, good eighth inch thick and some places are about a quarter inch thick. So it takes a lot to do that right there. She does have a little old four cylinder in her. We gotta drag her out of here to get her back to the shop where we can actually work on her, but she's a pretty neat little, I guess you'd call it car tractor, trucker, whatever you wanna really call it. She doesn't have no brakes in the rear and no brakes in the front, so whoever was driving this whole thing around just used the gears to slow down and didn't really get going too fast, I figure. She does have the four cylinder in her, and we don't know at this point if she's locked up or not. There we go. Hopefully, guys, you can see that. And we got the pack wrap package. And it. We got the dirt daubers and the oil breather. That's never a good sign. Let's close that back up. Act like we didn't see it. It does have an electric starter right there, a generator, and some real old champion plugs in her. But we're going to get her out of here and get her back to the shop and. See what we can do. At least someone did tear that radiator hose off so the radiator didn't fill with water and bust the block. So I figure she's a good old runner. This hood's kind of just folded on here. I'm not really sure how it's on here in the first place. It's all rusted together. We're gonna try not to mess it up. There we go. That was easy enough. And as you can see, we got the little old four cylinder. Someone's broke a spark plug little You'd call them wires, but they ain't really much in the way of wires. Break some of these leaves off here and see what we're working with. Well, okay, there's that one. We're missing this one, but we'll fix that with just a piece of wire. Little updraft carburetor. Fuel lines have since rusted off of it. We are engaged in the crank there, which is a good sign. Good old champions. And now I'm just gonna, we'll leave most of this on top of the engine for now till we get the leaf blower after we let her soak for a while. And these big cans are a lot better than the ones with the little nozzle on them because these last a little bit longer. Boy, when you let these things sit in the sun, they really spray. The engine's been setting now for a couple hours with some PB Blaster on it. I did go ahead and take these off the top of the spark plugs. That one pulled out of the plug and this one came off easily. So we can just throw a wrench on them and hopefully pull them out of here. I don't want to break any of them off, it's a big deal. I know they're two different socket sizes, so we got them and I guess we'll try to get this one loose. Okay, that one's coming loose somewhat. Hopefully that PB Blaster's had enough time to kind of soak down in there and keep us from breaking these off in here. So we'll give her some good sprays of this and fill them up and let her set. So the old doodle bug's been setting for about an hour or so with the PB Blaster in there. We're gonna give the good old hand crank another try and hopefully she'll spin over. The engine mounts in the front are a little wore out so it kind of pushes the hand crank down a little bit. You kind of got to put a boot on it, but well, I'll be. She's no longer locked up. That's a good sign. That's too easy. She must have a rod or something. There ain't no way it's that easy. There we go. turns a little too easy. That valve's closed. That valve's opening. So the valves are even working. I figured the valves would have been stuck and everything. But the old girl seems to be being destructive. She's been sitting for about another couple hours, probably two or three hours. You can see the radiator's pretty chewed up there, but I've spun her over three or four 
hundred more times it feels like while she's been setting and let her set for a while with this valve open and this valve closed to start loosening things up. The cool's gonna be shot on this thing, so we'll put the good old MSD cool on it. We got a set of four spark plugs here we're gonna put in it. And we're gonna pour this down in there. I always use something really thick, well, a thick type of oil. This Hyperlube works really good, so does engine stop leak, but I'm starting to like this stuff more. It doesn't smoke as bad and it's a little bit thinner, but it still gets around them rings and helps it build compression and don't eat helps it keep from eating the cylinder walls down when you first start them up so we're going to give her a good taste of that and she will smoke like a freight train when we first start her up but that needs this to help her build compression and just not to eat itself alive because it's been setting for so long for now. oh well it ain't as bad as it could be But it's a lot of dirt daubers. I don't even sure how they got in there. Like, there's no even hole for them to get in through, it don't look like. But they got in there somehow. Try not to break the cap. Oh my lord. Is there even a set of points in here? At least it's all dry so we don't have to Hopefully they ain't all rough. As you can down. see, they don't have much spring left in them. So we got a new set in today. We're gonna throw these bad boys in there and hopefully this will fix our problems. I believe we just ain't getting good spark through them because everything's rusted and they're not really firing as they should be. So we've been messing with this for a while now and we've now pulled the upper plate off. I did put the other set of points on there and well, it didn't work out too good. And I'm saying this is our problem. Down in here, it's so filthy. The spring's not bad, but the rest of this is just terrible. The wires are all corroded, and that's the problem why it's grounding itself out right there. And you can see all that rust in there. We're going to pull this straight through here and get rid of it for now. But that's our upper plate. These Model A's, you can take that off. You can also, if you're working on a Model A, you can buy this and it's the easiest thing to do. It's like 40 bucks and it's an upgraded version. It has the condenser in here, the points in it. So we got everything hooked up now. The uh, condenser's hooked up. Everything's wired up like it should be, except for the condensers outside of the distributor because it would not come out. Didn't want to break it and I didn't want to, have to take the exhaust manifold off. <clears throat> so we're going to pull the carburetor Hit her with some ether and hopefully she's gonna run. I did, well this one gets spark. We're now getting spark through the cap. Had to fight it forever. We had a grounding issue and see what we get. See, we took the exhaust manifold and intake manifold off because we got some exhaust valves that keep on hanging. And well, here's some of our problem. This is completely filled with a dirt dauber nest, if you can see that. That's why you always need to take these off, but that dadgum dirt dauber plugged that hole perfectly. So that's one of the problems. This one here's got a whole bunch of crap in it. That looks like rust and I don't even know what it, oh, there's a gasket there. Same way with this, and it's just full of trash. And this screw fell out of there right here. I'm gonna say it's been in there for probably 80 years or more. And all through here, there's rust on the valves and stuff. So we're gonna take a chisel and tap the base of these. And if you're ever doing this, remember you tap the base of the valve or well, the stem, never tap the top of it or it'll just break right off just about every time. So we're gonna get to that and 
hopefully get these valves where they're opening and closing them and get this old girl running. Well, they're still not one to cooperate. We pulled the intake and exhaust manifold off again, and we pulled the inspection cover for the valves off because if you guys can see this one's stuck. You can't really tell because it is touching the lifter. This one right here is stuck. This one right here is not. This one's stuck because you can see the lifter's loose there. This one is stuck. That one's stuck too. So we got quite a few valves that just don't want to cooperate. As you can see, it'll go up, but it doesn't want to come back down. So we have to get in there and really just clean that up a little bit and spray it down with some PB Blaster. This one right here, I think we got where she's about to start moving. This one, not as much, and this one's the same way. It's gotta work them up and down sometimes and you can get them to break loose, like this one right here. And there we go. It's not just terrible on you guys. We've retimed her again and fit fine with it. She should fire her up, maybe. I don't know just yet. We're gonna run her off the start plug because I don't think she's gonna wanna run off gas just yet. Retimed her, we have good spark, so there shouldn't be nothing keeping it from running because we got pretty good compression. doodle bug up and running after she'd been abandoned in the woods for 72 years she runs like the day she was parked she sounds real good i said in the beginning it was a 28 it's actually a 30 and it's an aa pickup truck the larger basically the ton and a half two ton truck of its day just like the old 29 gmc someone cut her up and made a doodle bug out of her the rear wheels are broken and i mean like rusted off completely that one's about to go that's why i left her on the trailer she ain't gonna drive anywhere because of that sadly and the transmission stuck in gear like i mean rusted solid in there 
so that's why we had to throw the clutch in and i think that's why the motor was locked up to begin with but it may have just been a little bit stuck but thank you guys for watching we may do something with this old car because i do have another aa truck frame and i think all the body panels to put one together so since she runs we might throw that engine in there and do something with her but thank you guys for watching please consider leaving a like and maybe subscribing because we got a lot more content like this and some stuff that's even older we got a car that's over 100 years old we're about to get running here and it's got a v8 in it so thank you guys for watching see you in the next video